Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and uh, this video is about kale and how it can be left out, not indefinitely, but you know, further into late fall, early winter than you might imagine. Of course, this all depends on your climate and I'll expand on that a little later as we go along here. But where kale's concerned, you know, people sort of think their gardening season's over in September or October, uh, but it's an inc incredibly tough plant. I mean, there's different varieties and there's variation within that. But as long as the ground isn't frozen, the kale can kind of, the kale leaves, the part you eat, uh, can survive to some extent. Uh, once the ground where the roots are, so once the ground is frozen down around the roots, the, the foliage will just eventually get sort of freezer burnt and die. So once the ground's so frozen, then it's not gonna thaw. Like basically one, once winter has fully set in and it's winter and it's not, Gonna, you know, it's not going to thaw out again. I mean, we just had some snow uh, and it was like minus 11 last night, but it, it's going to be cold again, uh, or it's going to be warm again in a few days and it's going to get cold, it's going to get warm again. It's still just early, early December right now where I live. Um, so, I mean, every year is different and the climate's kind of uh, chaotic here because we're near the uh, North Atlantic Ocean, sort of, uh, my province is a peninsula jutting out into the, into the Gulf Stream sort of thing. So it's a weird sort of place. Um, but suffice it to say, as long as the ground isn't frozen, it doesn't matter if there's cold and snow and stuff like that. You can leave your kale out. In fact, it actually improves in flavor. And I, th it's funny because this particular kale, uh, it's called winter boar kale. I found, find it uh, in the summer and even early fall, it's fairly tough. Uh, to the extent that I, I usually blanch it before I actually cook it because I just find it a, a bit um, tough to eat. Um, but this time of year, um, all I got to do is bring this in, wash it, cut it up and cook it. And it is soft and it is tender and it is, you know, it is fine. There's a sort of uh, a trend right now with kale where people argue you should, you know, massage it uh, and then let it rest for an hour or something like that before you cook it. That's supposed to, you know, improve the, the tenderness or improve the flavor or that sort of thing. Or if you're making a kale salad, you massage the kale. And, uh, you know, I agree to that with that to some extent, but it also depends on the variety. Some kales are just tougher and more bitter than others. That's just a reality. Uh, nevertheless, this is a, a I, I want to be, I want to be kind to the variety, but it's, it's a particularly tough and particularly bitter variety of kale. Okay. Um, but this time of year when there's snow everywhere and it's all frozen like this, uh, it's fantastic. It tastes really good. The flavor improves dramatically. I mean, all kales are improved by that, but this kale basically goes from a kale you have to blanch to enjoy it. I mean, that's me, maybe I'm extra sensitive, to a kale where it's just totally fine and it's wonderful. And of course, this is something you can't buy in a store, sort of a uh, snow massaged kale, right? So this is about as, about as boutique a delicacy, an organic delicacy as you can get, snow massaged soil or, or snow, snow massaged kale. Uh, so it's just a wonderful thing to keep in your garden. You're literally going to be eating something you can't buy, snow massaged kale, right? So uh, anyway, the, the, the gist of the video here is that if you've got a few, you know, Sure, if you've got, you know, a couple dozen heads of kale out in your garden, you should think about, you know, putting them in some sort of storage. I like to blanch and freeze mine. There's lots of different ways to deal with it. Um, but if you've just got a handful in your garden, uh, leave them out. <laughs> They're going to be good for a while, right? As long as the ground isn't frozen, those kale will sort of just hang out and uh, just withstand. Right? Well, what happens is, you know, at night, everything's frozen. The kale actually freezes. But during the day, it actually thaws out again. And as long as the ground isn't frozen, there's some, some degree of moisture circulating from the roots to that plant, keeping that foliage alive. Once the ground freezes, moisture stops going to the leaves, to the foliage, and the foliage just becomes sort of, just blasted sun, sun cold, dry, it becomes dehydrated, it becomes no good, and it's just wasted, right? Um, so, I mean, you always have to keep an eye on the temperature and how things are progressing and that sort of thing. But for right now, we got snow on the ground, but the, the soil isn't frozen. And uh, I'm in no rush to bring this kale in, right? Uh, if I got a nice day where I got some time, I can bring some in and blanch and freeze it. But, uh, you know, we're just sort of gorging on it because this is like prime kale season in a lot of ways. So, uh, yeah, just a, a note about growing kale and, you know, it's sort of an all season plant, really. I mean, you plant it in the ground in like April, right? And 
sometime in June or July, you can start harvesting it. And you can just keep harvesting it right up until your ground freezes solid, whenever that is where you are. Right? For me, that's usually, sometimes it happens in November, usually happens in December. Um, and there's been years where I've just left it. Even once the ground freezes, you probably have a few more weeks before the plant really starts to degrade. So I've even left it out until January some years, right? <laughs> so that's just laziness, right? Um, it gives you a reason, oh, I better eat that kale, you know? So you just keep your diet nice and healthy and you just, you know, increase the, the proportion of your, of your meals that are sort of kale-based, right? So uh, anyway, snow massage kale, sort of lazy kale, the laziest way to store your kale you can imagine, just leave it out there, <laughs> let the snow on it, bring it in when you need it. It'll taste great. You, you will not regret it. <laughs> it's not wasted. It's, it's, it's improving. It's getting better. It's getting massaged by snow. So I hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching. <laughs>